Um, in honor of uh, moderating the Q&A tonight, uh, so I'd like to welcome writer and director, Grim Benders. Uh, writer and uh, producer, uh, Takuma Takshida. Uh, and then the star, uh, Koji Yasha.
And I thought that was a great subject for me to look into. And I love these toilets anyway. And I love Tokyo. So, and as I had been invited to be inspired, so I said, it inspires me to do something else. And it would inspire me to tell a story. And that would be, would be worth it. And instead of doing four times, four days of shooting, give me these 16 days and I'll tell you a story. And that was the beginning of the movie. And then, of course, this is where this man came in, because I needed a good script. And I knew I couldn't do the script if I didn't have the greatest actor in the world. So these two men made the movie, and I just had the idea. So when uh, when you started getting involved in the conversation, um, how did you go about forming the narrative uh, around this story? And you know, and you're you're working with you're you're from Japan, and you're making a film that takes place in the home country, uh, but you're working with a, a German filmmaker. You know, and so I just want to very curious about the process of discovering what the story is and. いや、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
preserving this character in daily life. What was your approach for this film uh, compared to a um, film with more dialogue, you know, where you're, where you're sort of playing scenes more? <laughs> so, as you all may remember before the film, we were talking about dress code. So I may have to comment. These two very handsome gentlemen next to us are wearing ties, as you notice, and they look very sharp and they talk very intelligently as soon as they wear the tie. <laughs> そう、で、まずやっぱり僕もあの、so um, the approach to this film for me as a character is that, um, you know, the, the biggest challenge here was that if uh, at me as an actor, like in Japan, I think this is a really difficult or a high bar to try to achieve. But if people see this film, and that if they believe that Vim went and did a casting or a scouting and really hired a true toilet cleaner man, an ordinary man in Japan, and if you believe that, then I feel like I've fulfilled my role. So that's the approach that I took. <laughs> <laughs> I know mentioned it's a very quick shoot. You said 17 days? We had 16 days. 16 days. We had one more day with us.
And I heard that uh, a lot of your communications between you two were nonverbal. Is that true? And what is yes, that? Yes, true. He can speak. We couldn't talk to people. And the poor, the poor translator had less to do than, than you have to do. <laughs> she wanted us to talk, but we just, we just did it with gestures and with a few gestures and eye and body language. And of course, the groomer was there to, to observe it all. And if there was dialogue, I needed to look at the groomer first. The groomer didn't say it was great, he said. And then I looked at my DOP and he said, <laughs> and then we went to the next thing. <laughs> Uh, the the Kiryam uh, character embodies a lot of, you know, this ideal for Japanese people, you know, to do any good for the common, you know, common good for people and, and you know, uh, upkeep of public spaces and things. Is that ideal something that was part of you building this character, or is it something that you were, you thought about a lot uh, as, as you were portraying it?
in uh, uh, defining the character um, and it feels like kind of a spine for the film but, but it's also kind of insight into carry on as a character you know it's, it's someone that you learn through his actions and choices 
Um, Mr. Takuma, when, when you were writing, I imagine the music was in the script, and I'm curious what the curation was and what conversations you made with anyone. So uh, Vim and I uh, sort of had this rule that we would not listen to any music that Hirayama was not listening to. So basically, we were we put ourselves in an environment where we were only listening to music that Hirayama, the character, was listening to. And I think that made uh, the connection even tighter for all of us who were involved and on set and just made the uh, sort of that uh, connection between, okay, this is fiction, it's a fictional character, but we're shooting it in documentary style. It helped to really bridge that sort of gap uh, into like a, a very integrated uh, process. So I really enjoyed that. And the music was always on the set. Mostly you put in the music afterwards, which I mean, normally, We have the music on the set. That makes a big difference. And of course, he couldn't possibly have done that last scene of the film without Nina Simone being the lead actress of the film. Was the part of uh, was the music part of preparing for the role as well and, and discovering the characters? そう、もう、これはまあ、普段の制作と音楽は後で、あの、録音して、あの、現場ではもう聞こえているつもりっていうのが多いんですけど、今回もすべて、あの、その現場でその、あの、平山が聞いてる音は、聞けたので、それがす